Hi everyone, my name is Carmen. I'm a first time mom to a baby girl. Her name is Ava and she's five months old right now. Um, so I thought of sharing with you all the toys that we have for her um, on rotation right now. They are usually in this basket. This is an IKEA basket, um, but I've laid them out all um, this way for the video. And obviously this is a lot of toys. You don't need this many. It's me, I have a problem. I just love shopping for toys. Um, let's start over here. This is Lamas. It's Fifi the Firefly. They also have Freddy the Firefly, so I guess Fifi is the girl version. It's got a lot going on. It's crinkly. It has um, teether, uh, like teether toys um, sewn onto it. Um, it's got this squeaky thing. It's got a mirror and this black and white visual stimulation at the back. Um, so she she likes this toy. She hangs on to it like she would hold on to it like um, on to the rings this way or um, this way. Sometimes even when she's playing in the playpen and I lift her up, she's still holding this. So she's holding it while I'm carrying her around the house. This is another crinkly thing. It's from the Fisher Price um, activity gym set, the one with the piano. I don't like that set at all. I guess I'll make another video, um, uh, you know, about why I don't like it. Um, but this one she likes, so I've taken this out of the set, and it's part of a sensory basket right now. This is by Pigeon. So Pigeon is, you know, an oldie but a goodie. You can't go wrong with Pigeon. It's a Japanese brand. I grew up with Pigeon. Um, and this is their stage one teether toy. Um, stage one is for four months and above. They also have stage two. I think it's for seven months and above. And it's really well designed. Uh, the hand goes inside here. It fits perfectly like for her tiny hands. Um, and she rattles it. And you know when they've just started to figure out how to put things in their mouth, they don't really like target a piece into their mouth they just like shove whatever they can like that and so this design is really thought out um it's easy for her to bite onto these parts here even this part also she can bite on i highly highly recommend this pigeon teether and this is by nave it's a wooden rattle with balls she likes this as well um now she started to bang this either on the floor or if she's on the high chair, she would bang this on the table. Um, and at first, when I showed the picture of this to my mom, she was worried about the balls. She was worried it would come off and it would be a choking hazard. But I, I looked at it and no, I think it's really well made. I think it's safe um, and it's really high quality. Um, but I think it's quite hard to get this in Malaysia. These are by Haba. Um, they're just wooden balls strung onto an elastic string she has no interest in this whenever i hand this to her she just drops it so maybe i'll keep this and bring it on later on another time these three are by Nubi, and um i was kind of torn between this or the old ball and I decided to get this instead because it looks more satisfying to bite on it's squishy and it's silicone um the thing with the old ball is um, it has holes for you to practice your grasping as well. Um, but I think it will be really frustrating if you're trying to bite onto the old ball because it's, it's hard. Um, you can't really sink your teeth into it like this. At best, you could stick your tongue into the hole. So I think the old ball is more for like grasping, um, not really for biting on. I'm not sure. And these are the newbie bananas. I have two. One goes to daycare. Uh, oh, before that. When it comes to daycare, so one of the reasons why I have so many toys is because I send a bunch of them to daycare. Like I would pick the silent ones such as these um, to go with her to daycare because I think sometimes she's left alone in the cot. I feel bad about it. So at least it makes me feel better that she has some toys with her. So like noisy ones like this. Um, I keep it at home. It doesn't go to daycare, so she doesn't um, bother the other babies. So with these two bananas, um, one goes to daycare and one stays at home. At the beginning, this one was better for her because it's easy to just grip. Um, she could bite onto this or these or the base. So this one's easier for the younger babies. Now that she is like, I think it was three months old, I started giving her this. Um, and then it was like about four months onwards, um, this one uh, worked for her as well because she figured out that she needs to put her hands in and hold it to get like a really nice uh, grip and bite onto it. But if I could choose just one, I would go with this design. 
This is the Manhattan Toy Squish Rattle. I really like this one. It's wood and elastic. So she likes to bite onto these balls at the end um, and rattle it. This is the first toy that she reached out to grab um, out of my hands. Um, it's also the first toy that I saw her transfer from one hand to the other hand. So it's a developmental skill. Um, so I highly recommend this. If you are like thinking of the old ball, I suggest getting either this or this. I think you get longer use out of them. And because the old ball is for like grasping and you can get grasping out of these two, but you get more, you get like biting and all that. These three are from Plant Toys. This is a wooden ring teether. I was surprised that something so simple like this, um, you know, um, was... Like, she liked it. She liked something so simple like this. So she bites onto this uh, ring and sometimes she bites onto this ball. This, she's not into this. Um, this is a ladybug and underneath are these colourful rings. I guess um, once she has developed pincer grip, you know, with the little fingers like this, then she would probably be more into this. This is a bee. It's got crinkly um, wings and it feels different. Like this one has more like crisp um, sound to it. Um, and this one has like a soft buttery feel to it. They both feel nice in their own way. Um, so she likes to bite onto this. It also does this like squeaky sound. She hasn't figured this out yet because it has this thing which you push down on. She hasn't figured out the squishing. She just bites on the wings. Um, these are all from Hape. These three come in a set. They're made of um, rice. Um, it's safe to really like bite and chew on. So they're all rattles. This is a ball within a ball. This one has a blue lens to look through and it has some beads in it. And this one has a bell. So she's not into these two. She yeah, she doesn't play with these at all. Um, but she really likes this one. It's easy for her to hold on to because they've got holes and she puts her fingers inside and she rattles it and bites onto it. So, so even though she doesn't play with this, at least it's still worth the purchase and she she's into this one um, they also come in a double set so you can get two of each but i just got the single set this is another hape rattle so the idea is that it's got all sorts of textures and material this is wood plastic and silicone um, she plays with this as well this one she doesn't play with it at all she just lets go she drops it off whenever i hand it to her i guess it's quite hard for her to hold on because it's quite I don't know, it's quite difficult to hold on to for a five month old. Um, but it's a, it's a bee and it's got its logo, the Hape logo as its wings. These are Playgrow sensory balls. She has no interest um, to play with these. So I guess I'll put this aside as well and bring it out another time. These are the Haba wooden blocks. They are from the fantasy set. Initially, I wanted to get the discovery set, but I couldn't bring myself to paying so much for, you know, six tiny little cubes. Not so tiny. Um, six cubes. There are sensory cubes in the discovery set. So I decided to pay more to get the fantasy set um, because you get such a big set um, of much more colourful and unique um, blocks. Um, and I, then I could get like a longer more years out of that set um, and I pulled these out from the fantasy set um, this one has a bell this one has like a hole and it's easy for her to grip um, and this one has a mirror so she doesn't really play with these um, on her own like she doesn't really use this much but what I do is sometimes I stack them up like that I mix them up with the hape um, rattles um, and then she would knock it off and then I would stack it again like in different variations um, maybe like this and she would knock it off again um, this I highly recommend it's the Hape um, musical wobbly penguin um, I get like big belly laughters from her when she plays with this so she bats at it and I've been using this to encourage her to crawl so I will put this like maybe a few inches in front and she would army crawl her way because she's not really good at and crawling she would like pull herself towards the penguin to play with it and then i'll move it again slightly further ahead and she would crawl towards it again to play with it 
This is another one that I've been using to encourage her to crawl. I recently got this. This is by um, ELC. It's a rainmaker. Um, and she hasn't figured out this thing, I mean the tipping part yet. What she does with it is she rolls it. So it, so I would leave it on the playmat and she rolls it like this with her hands. This is Sophie the Giraffe. Huge regret buying this. She has no interest in this. Um, can you imagine? This is only... I bought this when she was... In th this is only two months old. And the spots have come off. I don't know if it's because of the way I'm wiping it or if it's the humidity. Um, I do have friends who told me that um, their Sophie are spotless as well. Um, huge regret buying this. It's expensive and she's not into it. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Obviously, you don't need to get this many, um, but at least it's given you an idea of what you want to get, I, I hope. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.